Welcome to 5 Minute STEM. In this video, we're going to be going over functions in C++. So that includes predefined functions, user-defined functions, and void functions. And everything we talk about today can be found on my website. Um, and I'll have a link down below in the description box. So first, let's start with predefined functions, since those are the easiest. Those are found within C++ um, built-in libraries. So if we want to use one of these predefined functions, we must include it at the beginning of our program, which we already have been doing with this include IO stream. So there are other libraries. Another common one is um, include CMath. So within CMath, um, there are functions like square root function, power function, exponent function, absolute value, um, and so on and so forth. Um, and on my website, I have a table kind of listing out these functions, how to call them, and what library they're found within. So make sure you check that out. So we'll use CMath, though, for an example. So we've included it, and now we'll do... Um, Let's say for int num equals one, num less than or equal to 10, num plus plus. Let's use a power function. So power num, we want to get this uh, number squared or something. So and mine. So that printed out one times one, two times two, three times three, four times four, all the way to ten times ten. So that's the built-in um, predefined power function. So let's do another one. See out. Let's call the square root. And let's do the square root of 100. Mine, so I would expect this to be 10. And there it is. So simple enough. Now, although predefined functions are very useful and simple, they don't always offer us um, the code that we need um, for more complex programs. So we may want to write our own function. That's known as a user-defined function. Now, user-defined functions are very similar in that we have to define them up here. So I'm going to write one that um, will, let's see, print out the letter grade um, based on a number score. So it's going to return a character value. So that's why we say char. If we were going to return like an integer, we would, you know, do int or something. So char, we'll call the function letter grade. And the letter grade um, function will accept an integer value, which will be the score. All right, so then first we're going to define this function. And to define it, it's outside of the main um, so we call it basically again, letter grade int score. And then within these brackets are where we're going to, you know, write our function. So we're going to do character letter if score is greater than or equal to 90, then letter will equal A. If score um, is greater than or equal to 80, and score is less than 90, Letter equals B. 
I'm just going to copy this. C and D. Sixty and seventy. And then if score is less than sixty. Letter equals F. And then return the value of letter. All right, so now we can go up and write our main code. So I'm going to do int grade C out. Please. Enter your numeric grade, 0 to 100. Right, and then we're going to read that in. And see out your letter grade. We're going to call the function, so letter grade, and use the value that the user entered. So please enter your numeric grade. So let's say 95. Your letter grade is an A. Let's do. 64. Your letter grade, D. Alright, so not too complicated, but obviously more work than the predefined functions. So lastly, we will show you how to do um, a void function. Now void functions, um, the main difference is they do not return a specific value. So they could not return this letter. They couldn't return a number value. Um, so they're still called up here. Now most of them are used for messages. So I'll just create a function called message. I'm going to get rid of all this. And I'm going to get rid of this. Um, and notice that we use the keyword void because, again, it's a void function. So we still define it outside of main. So void message doesn't read anything. Um, and we can just type in a simple message. So this is a message in a void function. Line. And now we still do have to say return, except we're not returning anything. This return in the void um, function basically means the end of the function itself. So then we just call it message. Oops. Like that. And I expect it to print out this is a message in a void function. So again, simple enough. Um, these were the three different functions predefined, the user defined, and the void function. And again, all this can be found on my website. And thanks for watching and catch the next video.